really watch the Ben Nolan take the gay point. Thanks for supporting the channel. <laughs> Demands to be on the podcast <laughs> does not watch, I watch it, it in any capacity nah, that he, matters. He Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight I'm joined by Blake from Blake Goes Face. Good corner. And Logan uh, from Snake Road. Yeah. Wow. Wow, uh, he got it right. Yeah, dude's educated. Educated. I mean, I flipped the coin. It was either that or LB plays this week. I don't know. That, one, that one's drags. How was our week in Yu Gi Oh, Jake? Well, before we get on to oh, that, just, just a, <laughs> a quick note uh, for our viewers and listeners um, apologies for the um, issues that we've been having with Spotify. We are working on a more permanent solution. Spotify. They've been fixed um, at time of recording, um, but who knows how long that'll last. Um, in the meantime, please uh, continue to listen to us on Apple and Google podcast uh, apps, or um, failing that, watch us on YouTube. Um, hopefully, as I said, we'll have a more permanent solution soon. Um, so again, apologies, but um, yeah, we're getting it sorted. Um, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Blake. I'm a diamond gamer now. That's I don't know up to diamond. diamond. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Did I you just go that far. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> diamond in the sky. Um, uh, fucking, I <laughs> did the diamond ting, and then I just versed the flooded ting. And it turns out, as Ben has preached on this podcast before, Rip Ben, by the way, he's dead. Um, he <laughs> yeah, didn't really he it just no. you just flip harpies, and then they go. Hmm. I, I guess you say that like just... that's only a cracked card in a flunder mirror I'm pretty sure if yeah. you turn off all monster effects for any deck they're gonna yeah, have this, a bad this time this is true too but except it, Eldritch yeah it's, it's failing yeah. that it's like they do stay in the game because you'll go first and then you'll see them go map and you go you know what have a summon and they go like reveal Rabina. you normal summon so that I can have my yeah turn. it's like Rabina and then you go bonk now meh. Um, and they, you just see the, like, the, I, you don't understand the amount of times I've seen the animation of, like, Harpies chain, and their chain is their board exploding. And it's like, oh yeah, that's, that's the response. Cool. Thanks. Um, but other than that, there's been, like, a weird amount of Elder Lich, which... Yeah, I've, I've not understood that. Like, that deck, um, for all intents and purposes, should be dead. It, it's, ju I think it's just a case of people are too subhuman to, like, understand how to play a different deck. They're like, oh, me no have, <laughs> me no have three conquistador, me Co put in more floodgate. Uh, it, is quite, it is quite easy to build on Master Duel, though, because a lot of, like, torrential tributes are rare and stuff like that. Like, That's it's quite, fine. It's quite you can play build. all of those cards. You can play torrential, you can do that. But why play in a deck that has been nerfed? I played yeah. a card that shuffled back the Elmer's Traps as well. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, people have been playing Protector of the Golden Land as well, the thing that, like, oh, drops a thing to zero, just for another target. It's just like... Bro, right. at this That's point, bad. give up. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, it's been good to. I will say, don't play normal flunder in like a flunder heavy format because that, like, it's too much thinking. And the point of the deck is not to do that much thinking. Um, Flun mirrors get like really sticky. Oh yeah, um, it's like which point do I activate my map after you yeah. normal summoned? But then mm. like the trap flips everything face down, but like you can play around it, and then they rise you, and you can still play through it. It's it's too messy. Um, just don't do it. Just play cracked flunder. Don't worry about the debaz. It's fine. It's not relevant. Just flip the harpies. Logan. Yeah, I've been playing a bit of Master Duel recently. I'm not I'm not diamond again yet. I'm yet like platinum with three, I think. But with ABC, that's like. Yeah, look. Better than deserved, really. Um, yeah, so we know that. Uh, played a bit of Locals the last couple of weeks with Dragon Link, Adventure, Brave stuff. So Stuff and yeah. things, stuff and things. Yeah, doing things and, you know, preparing for the next format with, with Ben has been pretty good. Getting my head around, you know, Sprite and Tear Element and trying to figure out if Brave Punk Adventure can kind of fit into Deal this with somewhere yeah. with, with TCG format. I think the TCG will have a little bit of a change on it, but I don't think it will have a heavier effect on what we saw in OCG. I don't think we're going to get the tier zero um, effect that they had with Sply. But anyway, we can get into that. Um, yeah. My week. So, uh, yes, I've also been playing Master Duel, but we'll touch on that in a second. Um, in local news, I guess, um, on Sunday I went 2 2. Uh, opened super cracked in like the first, oh, the second and third games. Um, what was it in the 
first game? Was I versing... I think I was versing the uh, Trap Eldritch. No. Fun. I was versing something AIDS. And I was just like, this is not fun. I really want to die. Um, and I did. Um, but then games two and three opened Super Cracked. Um, beat Cracked Flunder with branded nice. Despia, which is generally like, oh shit. Sag, because yeah. every big trap turns your shit off, and it's like, mm, now I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, thankfully yeah. those weren't an issue. Uh, and yeah, it just opened super well. Um, and then, yeah, game four just opened unplayable. Like, just a bunch of uh, five monsters, that's what I opened. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so against a Baron, Chi Zhao, and uh, back row of. Blackout? Blackout. Yeah. So, yeah, it was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> one negate, and I will just move on <laughs> no problem chief uh and then tonight uh went x1 uh again opened fairly well i finally finally beat the fucking branded eldritch deck that i've been struggling against for weeks because it's like exactly pivoted to fuck up well most people but mm. particularly the branded the mirror, yeah uh, the yeah. sorry yeah, not the, the semi mirror yeah. like yeah. the yeah. uh branded despia build in that it's like playing rivalry and shit and like they don't care about rivalry because like they either just sit on the fusion or they sit on lord and zombies and teams yeah. so they actually don't care if you out one of them because they'll summon the other um but yeah finally was able to beat that and i didn't even open any spell and trap removal um i had to play under rivalry but the thing is i had a beast in spriggan's kit and i yeah. had uh despier fairy lad and I was like, mm. well, and I've just activated Brand of Fusion. I was like, well, I can't summon any other fucking fairies off Brand of Fusion. So in the bin with the fairy. Yeah, goodbye. And just stuck with beasts. And I play exactly four beasts in my entire deck. And I've summoned all of them. And you're like, here they <laughs> are. We love to see it. Here you go. Can I win? All right. We'll give it a go. <laughs> a wild Ben appears. <laughs> Can't um, be better appears. I don't know if I'm in Frank. Well, they know you're here now. Um, but yeah, so um, summoned the fusion beast, sending whatever from the extra deck. Mm. Um, then uh, used stuff engrave off of branded red, banished some stuff, and made uh, chimera, which popped some stuff. Yep. Um, Adlib summoned the beast back, uh, and then he couldn't out those in his turn. He tried. He tried conquistadoring one, and I like. Um, oh, I thought he was going to, but he popped the. Uh, Branded lost because that was stopping him uh, from disrupting yeah, yeah. my play, so he fucked that off. Uh, and then in my turn, I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, polymerization, make another Chimera, Ooh. pop some shit. Get rid of it. Yeah, <laughs> just, I'll do it. Just, just... I wish not to play under Floodgate, fair, please. Very fair. Um, so yeah, it was very happy to have finally beat that deck because it's been a, the bane of my existence for so long. Because um, I just never used to open enough of one thing. I'd open yeah. like just all spell and trap removal, and yeah. against Eldritch, it's like okay, cool. That's cool, but eventually you're just going to set them again, and yeah. it's like nothing ever happened. Um, or I'd just open all monsters, and I'd be playing into aids floodgates, and it's like, Bleh. yeah, you really need to hold those and those spell and trap removals for when they flip up their their floodgates. Eh? And but it's so oppressive. And at the th at the moment, it's like I have spot removal that's really good in uh, night beam like target a thing you can't respond with anything else get rid of it or big blowout card like uh feather duster and lightning storm hmm. so i don't have any quick removal in the side so it's right. either i open the spot removal slash board wipe yeah or, or i yes, play so. into it and hope that i can do yeah. something with I mean, it no. um but anyway yeah beat that That's deck fine. got to the finals open bullshit um got like impermed which i don't cross our target for because i don't have the space yeah. um and yeah just didn't open enough um other place to be able to do anything and yeah and i also um activated my zombie chicken graveyard to put zombie world on the field way too early um if i'd done a little bit later i might have survived but yeah eh. so did you open the cross out when you impermed no oh, okay not too so it's not too it's not that it. heartbreak yeah it's not that it's hard not but, but it's it would like, have been <laughs> yeah yeah actually, that actually no, sorry. would have been like cancer i correct that i did open cross out but i don't have imperm as a target yeah. yeah now it's heartbreak yeah it's just like hating punish but like yeah. if you don't have the room it's you've got to kind of what do you traps you are playing ash blossom right only, only ash blossom most people just hold their ash until you go branded fusion right because like that's the crux of your play yeah and then you nice. cross out it and it's like Oh, oh dear! Uh, I'm now dead. <laughs> it's getting. I don't. Yeah, I guess Despia can't really put in. That That's many the hand biggest traps. issue with Despia is it's not one card combos. It's yeah. all like two to three card, 
so you don't really have the space to play hand traps. If there were more dark and light hand traps, you would debate it. Well, good dark and light hand traps, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. Diddy Crow, baby. Yeah. Well, Diddy Crow's going to be coming up. Diddy Crow's going to be coming up real soon. True. Baylor. Yeah, it's hard of a death spear, I feel like, and cross out in a 15 hand trap format. Yeah. Like, if you're going to play cross out, it's almost. I think tactics might always be a bit better. I have tactics. Playing yeah. both of them. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's weird. That hurts. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I think the format is about to at least look very different. I don't know how it'll look, but it'll look very different after this week, so we'll see how we go. Yep. Um, so yeah, not in move- Master Duel anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, whatever. So yeah, moving on to Master Duel. Um, Sad. So we're about halfway through the X Zero event. Um, Gross. It is not overly fun, um, and it's for the same reason that I said when it was first announced. In that, it's like the format of the most AIDS decks you can think of. Um, even and Flunder. AIDS decks that, 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 that I very much it's said that. Stand by your statement. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um so, yeah, Flunderies is obviously a big one because it just got released. People have been super keen to play it. Um, and, yeah, it, it obviously does not need an extra deck. Yeah, it helps consistency, but mm. that's about it. Yeah, you don't get to play Pot of extra, pot of uh, extra Van Cross, but that's it. Yeah. Um, oh, no. some, other, some other popular choices are uh, Eldritch, just uh, big floodgate, no-brainy, fucking stupid shit. Um, another surprising one is Ben... K O T K. Yeah. Um, just let them set up a board, lightning storm. Um, some have been playing adventure packages, some have just been playing draw cards to open as many possible quick cards as they can. Yeah. Um and what was the other one? There was a bit of danger running around. Uh to an extent, not overly. Um what was the interesting one I saw? Oh, someone was playing New Senju. Um Oh King. The man. The king yeah. bring it back. <laughs> Abby King and yeah. Yeah, and just yeah, very standard things yeah. of like bounce your sheath, move yeah, on with your life. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And it's really annoying that they also have a trap that bounces when they're not on the board. It's very annoying. I don't like it. Is that the training ground card? No, training ground is a spell. No, it's one of the newer ones. It's called like something about whips. Like like oh, reveal cool. a number of um different name your centuries in hand and bounce up to three cards you control. That's really That's good. That's, That's really cracked. good. <laughs> it is really good. But yeah. Blake's about to go play your thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe this format isn't so bad. Um, <laughs> so I've been playing Metaphys. Yeah, that one. Um, so yeah, I've been playing Metaphys and it's been fun, but yeah, you do run into the problem of like, um, you get like one summon a turn mm-hmm. with that deck. And if you don't open exactly right, uh, you run into some issues. Um, the best thing about it is that uh, Dimensional Fissure is at three. Ah, oh, true. So yeah, what I said Dimensional Fissure, and they have to decide whether they're going to get rid of Dimensional Fissure or the monster, which is generally Decoy Dragon, which is a fucking hilarious card. I fucking love that card. Um, but yeah, it's been fun, and the fact that I didn't have to craft anything to play in this has been great. Everything was just there. Yes. Manifest like all like uncommons and rares. Uh, supers. There's some super rares in there. Uh, okay. The only ultra in the deck is a card that nobody plays. Oh, you want to see it? Yes. Yeah, I was similar. Where like it just flung a bit slightly changed. So I was like, all right, I can play it, and then I played it for a bit and went, I'll go back to ranked. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, and I've said this for most. Unless you super enjoy the format, just go in there to get your free gems. Because if you play up to like three thousand, four thousand medals, you're getting a thousand gems for just playing in the format. Um, so it's worth doing for a little while, um, unless you really enjoy it. Unless you're playing something that is performing well in whatever format it is, then yeah, just get your free gems, get your packs, and then go back to ranked. Um, speaking of ranked, uh, we had an announcement in the last couple of days that uh, they are diversifying the f- uh, types of things you can play in. Uh, so to cater to the more casual people, there will be a casual one v one setup. Where you can just go in there with your blue eyes deck and have a great and time. Still lose. Yeah, but, no, you're, you're but, otherwise, but, but no, you won't though because <laughs> there aren't going to be any other casuals in there, bro. You're going to verse people anyway. It's fine. It's not how casual for like no game has a casual playlist that casuals actually play in. But anyway, it's fine. Good yeah, luck. So that's there for them. I think more than anything, it might just be for people that want to test and don't want to diminish their yeah. ranking. That is, yeah, that makes because sense. because you can only do so much that's against the AI. Get. Um, like you can like if you're just playing a like one turn combo deck where you just want to set up your board and then like your opponent doesn't get to interact, the solo mode is great for that. 
yeah. if you want to actually test how your deck works in a real scenario, then this might be a good segment for you to yeah. do that in. Um, mm-hmm. But on the same token, though, Rally, you have like you still have those dual rooms you can open up where you and your friends can test. And like I think most times, if you're testing, right, you would just go and do that. So you test like, against decks that you already know. Yeah, players doing. having friends isn't the True. biggest thing you need to rely <laughs> on. We have learned recently that socials are not the um, ability of you. But players. yeah, like no casual thi- like playlist is ever free of people just being dickheads. But also, you're gonna get people who go, "Oh, okay, I have this combo that lands on like." 19 negates but it's a kind of a four card combo so let me just jump into casuals and see mm. if I can make some people really mad <laughs> it'll happen that's fine nothing yeah. wrong with adding that I hope it's like Dueling Book where you can like put in like requests like no XO no, 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 no XO no Synchro no Pendulum <laughs> yeah. Duelist Kingdom format yeah. only <laughs> I'm gonna, the moon. I'm gonna play that big <laughs> shadow moon. card so you can't see my monsters <laughs> <laughs> I miss Duelist Kingdom Catapult Purtle I break the ring around your castle and it falls down. Anyway, um, Sucks to suck. I'm going to jump off the edge you can yell if you give me this win. <laughs> uh, conversely to that, though, they're also adding the next event very soon, which will be the Duelist Cup, which seems to be ranked plus in that there is going to be actual places, like actual ranks. Oh, okay. Interesting. Because it's uh, toting up to be like, I'll play against other skilled players to see who is the best. Sure, uh, so potentially there'll be like an ultimate winner um, don't know what the structure is going to be like they haven't really announced much of it um, they also announced that there'll be some augmentation to uh, the daily tasks and stuff so potentially more gems also potentially less who knows weird uh, it'll be interesting what the format is for that too um, yes. by the way I was just thinking about the whole no exceed no, pen, mm. no like duelist kingdom format and I was like what is uh, Duelist Kingdom for oh that's only monsters oh only monsters would be oh that's what we're doing yeah oh, I think right, that I don't want to be there. yeah no problem with that don't worry about that yeah, no, the no, difference no, is no. that Duelist Kingdom had like no rules <laughs> so your monsters were fantastic because you yes, could attack you could normal, anything you could just normal summon a red eyes you could, in before we're going normal summon normal summon normal summon tribute normal summon normal summon uh, don't play the game the beautiful thing is you could just cheat Attack. Yes. Oh, you have a creature. Well, good thing the moon's here, buddy. Like... Or, or you do Bandit Keith, who was actually cheating. Mr. Mr. Battlefield bonuses. Battlefield bonuses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My oh. Kraken is in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't, like, the Harpies lady, like, use perfume or something in Duel's Kingdom? Yeah, so you could... Yeah, yeah, mine was cheating yeah, as well. She cheating. had different perfumes on every, every card, which, frankly, I call bullshit on, because if yeah. you just put a whole layer of, like fucking 40 different perfumes it's right. just gonna smell like shit he's got that yes. canine nose right? hey, he knows sleeves for her cards. They was up in there. yeah true. Oh, true he's wetting them not not optimal yeah gross um but yeah that's uh where master duel is at the moment uh on to the physical card game uh we have some news about player no not player power of the element every time we go to say pody my brain wants to say player of the year player of the year but that is not what it is. Has that been announced yet? What? No, cool. no, 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 it doesn't matter. Um, so I can't remember if we discussed what the secrets were of the set the last time. I don't think we did. No, I got announced from the window. No. Okay, yeah, perfect. So. Very important. Let me just pull Very it important. It felt good waking up to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's still rough, but. It's no, nowhere near as rough. rough. It's not as bad as we thought it was going to be. So, uh, we have, um, I can't see what her name is, but a Divine Carnation, uh, she's the one that, like, for every monster effect your opponent can, uh, activate this turn, oh, yeah. tribute that monster. No. No? That no, it's one? like a sort of reverse kaiju. Oh, You need that your one. opponent yes. to activate monster effects, and then she can special summon herself by tributing for cost everything that activated its effect. Chop. Uh, so that's the secret. Uh, the Tier Elements Field Spell and the Big Fusion uh, Kaleido Heart is also a secret. Yeah, did Tier Elements cop more secrets than we did? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty funny. Uh, Sprite Blue is a secret. Uh, what's it called? Instant Contact, one of the spell cards for heroes that no one cares about, also a secret. Uh, Ascend... What the fuck are these names? Um, uh, uh, it says... The Apple... uh... Uh, as we don't care <laughs> true well, you do that's a very good card I don't care you will is that the spin back 
Yes. Oh, yeah, you do care about that. Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't care about this card. Understandable. Card is format care. defining. Uh, send my toad, bounce your toad, activate my toad, recycle my toad so I can do it later. Well, yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 Very good card. Very good card. For some reason, I thought they couldn't pronounce ultimate. Ah, well, no, it's it n- it's named something different here. Obviously. Uh, no, because it's Arsenal in a different language. Definitivia. Yes. Uh, the goatee, fish of the deep beyond, synchro, yeah, uh, sure. banishy thing. I bet that's secret. gonna look sick. It will look secret. great. I bet nice. it'll look super pretty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've right. got uh, Ashura something or other, the uh, rank 3 uh, XE. Oh, yeah. uh, the monster counter that like steals the monster that activates its effect. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, also yeah. a secret. And then announced oh. very last minute, the, the uh, Exorcista. Um, I can't remember what they ended up calling her. Um, no. That you? No, that's a joke. You <laughs> Oh, because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, Martha. Martha, that's it. Martha. Um, it's worth noting, not that like, so two things obviously we were expecting Splite to get a lot like two to three secrets they mm. didn't it might make the deck a bit cheaper tier elements getting two secrets I would as we've spoken about before I would like check on how much you can get those secrets for in a couple of months if they're pretty low I'm talking like 50 50 50 40 50 60 bucks I would probably just grab them because if Rob, you're trying to match the yeah. fluctuations in the market 50, 40, 50, 60, 40, 40, 40. yeah like, they normally do that um, it's the guy on the prices right like oh, yeah, fuck, I don't know what, what am I betting off um, <laughs> if you can pick them up when the next ban list comes around if we look kind of like the OCG and Spike and hit tier elements don't yeah. they'll go up it'll be a really good price but um, Blue Boy got I think pre-ordered for 120 yeah, um, bought out almost blue. immediately. Yeah. And then the field spell for tier elements got bought out at a hundred. God damn. Which like, eh. but also that one twenty seems quite cheap for what is going to be like a mandatory three of that's a secret in a deck that everyone wants to play. Ultimate Slay was only listed at thirty dollars on pre-sale. Here. That's uh, horrendous. That's if, if this if that didn't get picked up, Ultimate Slay was uh, posted for thirty dollars. Did you say? Yeah, um, and was bought out immediately. I mean, yeah, as you would. Absolutely crazy. Wank. Um, so, yeah, in terms of Starlights, uh, we do have the five now confirmed. Synchro. Uh, so we have <coughs> Artemis Slay as a Starlight, which is really nice. Uh, spells as Starlights look really mint. Um, Ayusa, the Woman. Earth Charmer, um, basically just wishes. enables Earth things. Uh, yeah, pretty much any Charmer card ends up being a Starlight. Yeah. Uh, DPE, which we already knew. Yes. Uh, Exorcistum Martha. And the fifth one is that tributy hand trap thing. Uh, because women. Well, um, which is really interesting. interesting they didn't do any of the, the that's, main boys, Yeah, right? that's exactly mm. what I was thinking. I was thinking either Spy or Tier Element would get one. Um, but yeah, here we are. Because women. It's interesting. Yes, fucking. And well, the, the other thing is too, and the they've like, all yeah. gotten um, high rarity prints since their start. Like all of the yeah, good true. cards for Exorcist have got... Uh, collector's rare the one that came in the last set got collect uh starlight rare so it this kind is, um, of makes sense that i think they're doing with exorcist the same thing they did with uh live twin uh, that it yeah. just gets heaps of high rarity because uh people suck and like fake women cards the difference is exorcist might actually do something yeah might and it's um, completely dependent can you on the uh, this is probably a bank question because ben knows his shit um just as well i as can't think here. of like any oh i guess despia like I was trying to think, is it super common for them to leave out what will probably be some of the best decks in Starlights? Well, yeah, Despia is a good Despia, uh, like they sort did, of contention for kind that. Of. Yeah, like it's only gotten Alba Lenitus recently, and even then it's not played in a lot of decks. Um, other yeah. than that, I can't think of like, they're normally generic cards, or the, the very good ones, um, or cards nobody wants. Yeah. That's kind mm. of the, but it is crazy to me that like, I know Blue Boys like obviously the, the the even like the um the field spell for tier elements would have been a really nice yeah, starlight. It would have been really nice. Um, probably... DP I think is a good starlight. Like hitting that, it's super relevant still. It'll be money. Like that that's cool. And you only need it'll one. Be money. I don't know if it's super relevant. Yeah. Though. Like there's very it, few decks like... that are being able to play it just because yeah. it's a non like not easily searchable two of fusion card to get it. I mean, yeah. I mean, unless you're doing like the PK. Oh, um, actually, sorry. I realise the reason that they've done DPE specifically hero. is because there's hero support yeah. there. Yeah. Um. The other thing is like it's a one-off, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. I um, mean, 
Um, All yeah, the now that I think about it, actually, if you're going to play anything except for this, if you're going to play any of those cards, they're all three ofs if you want to play them. Yeah. Which is really not yeah. ideal. Yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, sets looking sets cheering up to be just a very good set to open, a very good set to have around. Um, obviously, mm. as as I said, the tier elements because we know what they've already done, they might not come down. Uh, and if they don't, that's yeah. wank. But so that's the issue that we have is that even though tier element may not be the top deck of this format, people already have the foresight to know once the Ishizu stuff comes out in the oh, I hate next. Saying it. Yeah. Magnificent Maidens box. <gasps> Once that comes Pick out, that mic. deck will become one of the top contenders for sure. Yeah. I suppose the other thing is too, like the Shizu stuff came out post ban list for Sply. Once Toad got banned. Yes. So there is that to keep in mind too. Um, if the uh, American list that said December was when the ban list was coming in was anything to go by, mm. we're still in this format for another what five months. Yeah. So, and again, I'm starting to believe that more now that like I can see the roadmap of Despia did its thing. Okay, we have this format now. Here's Power of the Elements. We're gonna have another two big decks in the format now. Like, like I can see them. It's more of a progression. There's not really any need to crack down on anything right now, especially not uh, Despia. Like no. you say, it I'm had not its time. especially it not Despia, but like nothing. yeah, but it, it didn't <laughs> they, dominate anything. Like if they hit Tier Element and Supply a sure. little bit. Yeah. This format in December really opens up. We still don't know what de- those two decks look like in our format. Like, we don't but know what they do against these by, decks. If like, anything to go by in OCD and they get cracked a little bit. Like, this format's really They didn't diverse. get cracked a little bit, bro. They no, got shot like, in the back of the head. If instead of this, they get cracked a little bit in TCG. Right? Uh, yeah, sure. Like, and you keep what's already in the format here, which is already quite a diverse format at the moment. Yeah, I think so. Like, you add a, an underpowered splite and tier element into that. This format's incredibly good. It's, it's it, looking like pre ABC. Yeah, I, I think it just diversity. it just depends actually how good Splite are. Oh, they're like, very good. Like we will also play lists differently to OCG. It's a different format. It's it might be better. It might be worse. It might the deck might be more powerful and not top as much. Still, mm. like there are a lot of options for it. Again, oh, it's worth noting all the Splite stuff we now know is. Other than that, our supers or ultras um, will probably still be, you know, 15, 20, 30, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe even $30 ultras. Um, You're still looking at like a $500 core. Yeah, will suck, but it's so much better than the XE or the Link and Blue Boy both being secrets. And then you're looking to pay four fifty, five hundred for each set. And then it's like, go for it. Ah. I generally expected Starter to also be a secret. Like yeah, Starter. Yeah, yeah. I thought, surely, if you're not going to do a Link or XE, that spell is insane. Yeah, but like, I, I don't know why I really expected it to be the, the Link or XE. I think it's just... Extra cards, like... History of it. Oh, actually, I say the history of it. It really hasn't been of late. Like, mm. if you go Fafnir, back... Yeah, I guess. Like, you go back to Zeus. Orcus format, oh, no, Galatea yeah. and the Dingisu. other thing... Ding, no, not Dingisu. Um, he was relatively expensive. The Longisu. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, one, yeah. They were both suitors. Supers. Um, yeah, yeah. Like all of the main deck stuff that got to them as well was like super or lower. Mm. Um, it was only once you got to Dingisu, which was the set after as an ultra, where it got relatively expensive. That's still an ultra, right? Like, was yeah. Return in the original one? When, uh, when Australia when... Return? Yeah, that was one of the original cards. Yeah, so that was a secret. Uh, that was, a secret. I guess, that was like Sword expensive. Souls extra deck stuff was secrets, right? Like, uh, yeah, all, mm, heaps ultra, of their stuff was yeah. super oh, high rarity. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, just like in terms of making the extra deck part of that deck secrets, I really, I don't know why my brain was like function to say the extra deck parts is what's going to be secrets. Like, mm. I don't know, but I, um, I honestly think that's just your history in the game, sort of defining that like, yeah I don't know what in my brain whole format yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff and it was always like even like stuff. even like I guess Zoodiac, yeah it's, yeah Zoo yeah, Zoo, Zoo is a, a big thing too I think but other than that we okay so we do see that everything else in tier elements realistically should be very cheap yeah. um, there aren't many staples to pick up for the deck really um, you've got like that people might not already have like King of the Swans, they're easy to find. I mean, they're seeing like yeah. four dollars a pop actually now. Yeah, they're expensive. Fine. That's yeah. whatever. Like that, that. But like, other than that, it's all stuff people should have. But you get a front of window. It's like, yeah. all right, people who play Despia, you'll be fine. There's structure deck windows out the ass. Like, it's fine. Yeah, but they're um, ugly. 
They are ugly. Holy they're shit, ugly. they are. Yeah, the, you're right. The card that's probably causing most people issues at the moment from what I've seen is Millenniumized Restrict, just because it was already a really hard card hard to, to get. get. Yeah, Like, yeah. no one was opening the pack that it originally came from, and then the reprint of it was relatively scarce as well. So they're yeah. back up to, like, their pre-reprint prices of, like, 50, 60 bucks each. Yeah. But, uh... So it's yeah. okay, you only play one. But... Yeah, true, true. Um, but, yeah, and in terms of, like, one of the better decks, that's not a lot to fork. Um... Oh yeah, we will see what ends up happening. I hear that Logan's going to do a deck profile for Splite on the channel. That's definitely what was said, but thank you for promising that, Logan. Now that it's on the podcast, it's confirmed. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, like um, uh, Locke, I'm reading out our questions. Speaking of, do we have any questions, Jake? <laughs> um, I'm saying out of that. I want no fun. Segway time. Segway. We, we didn't said this multiple times. I feel times. like Flunder Corner was very... Very small tonight. Oh yeah, Flunder Corner was under construction. Yeah, yeah. It's only because I'm trying to work out different lists right you now. You remove Ben from Flunder Corner. No, no, no. Well, yeah, when we, these the two can't jack with, yeah, each yeah, other off about fucking birds. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, so, our the questions this outrage. week. Uh, so, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Please jump in, <coughs> say hi, and ask us questions such as uh, Myra has... So, uh, do you think there is any modern deck with the same staying power as Invoked? Alice has been here for so long. In four years, will we still be normal summoning a oh, Luba, for example? I know I can name a deck that before him. If that if that helps, Go I mean BA it. had the fucking staying power of Alistar. That yeah. deck just except would BA not stop. won things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the thing, right? <laughs> Unfairly it, stuck around. The deck just would not stop you it can make, like you can make an argument it still like has its core yeah, around like, right it like just, Caribbean it, went, it went into hiding for like three months and then would come back and then mm. it go for six months and then the shit would come back and it just kept coming back it always found a way to i think the difference is it always found a way to evolve in most kind of has been alistar past like well yeah there's not really a lot of evolution you can yeah. do the biggest change that the deck has had is when the shadow structure came out uh, and that was basically just Shadol abusing Meltdown to do yeah. their things without interruption. And uh, the Death... No, not Despia. Dogmatica stuff, yeah. where you could do Alistair combo, and then if you open well enough, which in my experience you generally don't, <laughs> you then set up a window. Like, yeah. it's not... There's not a lot of diversity to be had with mm. a fusion monster, uh, fusion archetype that only has so many fusion monsters that it has access to. Yeah. Yes, Peach. Don't let Jake's propaganda convince you otherwise. I hope there's one more YCS has been burning at this. Oh, oh outdated. Yeah, actually, Boobies has won one. Did it? B, B A? I, uh, it won a America WCQ. Yeah, but no one at YCS. Are you counting I'm really the glad one where that. they bullshit ruling the fucking meltdown? No, no, no. Remember that YCS where Invoked won and you were like, holy shit, my deck's going to get hit. Yeah, like, true. So oh, Invoked has won more YCSs yeah. than BA is what we're saying. But those two decks, I think, have had the most staying power. Um, I don't think we're going to get another one of those for a fucking while. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's... The answer is Ecclesia. It's, it's Ecclesia into Punishment. You're going to be seeing that for years. Yeah, but it's not a deck. Sure. Like... The exact same thing. It, it, it might as well yeah. be the same as Invoked. Like, uh, Invoked, I guess, is just a very small engine. That, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah. Nadir's a two. What? Nadir's a two. Yeah, that's a little Sure. Bit. Yeah. Nadir's a very, very good card still. Nadir's um, the only one engaged next set. Yeah, true. true. Um, Sky Striker almost. It's getting to there. Almost, right? It's we keep <laughs> seeing it. It's getting we fucking, there. We fucking, we keep seeing not? it. Can it fucking not? So sick of that deck. Bruh, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't said this on the podcast, I don't think. Again, in helping, like, uh, Sky Striker, like, in working out new Sky Striker and then seeing, like, it play, it, Engage might just be the most broken card. Like, I can't tell you a more broken card than Engage for its time. On its own, like, yeah. It's, like, why did it's that... It's better than Pot of Greed when you get to the I don't understand effect. why it said draw. Well, but why? It could have just not said draw, and well, it would have been a $100 card. Road is not good enough these days. No. <laughs> I... What is that card? It's but I maybe Sky Striker, I guess, is another example. But other than that, I can't think of anything. It shouldn't be though. No, it shouldn't be. It should fuck off forever. <laughs> I, I do wonder with the way Power the Elements is going to come in and, and dominate the format with new decks. If the Brave Engine will stick around for a long time to come, um, and Brave might turn into a new Brave sounded all, that sounded. Like you had so much hope, <laughs> but like, he might be right because it, because it's can it, it, it because, please? because like the way it, my the way, needs it because of the way it functions, it its restriction is like 
Yu-Gi-Oh inherently is going to play around that restriction quite a lot. Mm. So it, um, if you can maintain the the core of it being quite small, it is kind of a thing you could go. And this adventure would work. An adventure would work with like different cards yeah. around it. So I could see it, it actually. It like, more makes those tier two decks kind of into those tier one point yeah. five. Like, except for with Punk there and at the moment, like that's obviously a very strong deck. Plus yeah. the yeah, yeah but it, will it be after? Who knows? Maybe, probably not. Um, I fucking know, yeah. but like with PK, it, it was prey to do a lot more that like similar to what it did in the OTG, and it didn't really live up to that. No, so like PK was not the the, the play for that deck. No, no. Uh, next question comes from Rukasu. Yeah, yes. that'll do. <laughs> um, thoughts on the new Rescue Ace archetype being released, and how it could potentially synergize with Machina. Or my if you brother, prefer. my uh, he brother, he does not know what it does. He definitely brother, doesn't know what it does. Uh, so I've basically, never looked at it. <laughs> basically, uh, it's a bunch of fire machines. Uh, their boss monster. Oh, fire oh, stuff! Oh, the one. fire stuff! It's the one Harry's yeah. super keen on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it has a huge amount of overlap. Like the fact that they're machines is like the the most synergy that they share. Um, That's enough. <laughs> which is fine. Um, yeah, I don't fully think that that deck will take off um other than people just being like yeah machines my chin go yeah pretty much. much um what is your opinion oh hang on from uh smithy 46 big uh, up smithy <laughs> uh what is your opinion on the worst ocg to tcg name change for an archetype oh i got one from from a while back oh he's getting up on okay, his you box. have one because i got one fucking toad i'm over right. it shut up Shut up. Pre shut up. Pre shut up. Don't want your opinion. Like no. <laughs> Fuck totally awesome. It was such a good name for the art. Like, it's one of the yeah. best names for the art I've ever seen. And they were just like, but what if America just wanted to be fucking idiots and make the game for children? Can I oh. can I give you a whole archetype that really hurt? Yes. Back in like twenty fourteen. Archetype. 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 What did I say? C H no, is K. Um, yeah. <laughs> Remember when Haze Beasts were announced oh, and they oh, became Hazy Flame Hazy Flame Cockatrice yes yes they sucked mm. um, the other one I think all the Dark Lords all the Dark Lords suck they had sick OCG names they, they don't were, have the worst names they're, they're not the worst no they're bad but they're not the worst uh, thing we've ever seen was Morningstar not like Ben I don't think no, Morningstar Mor- changed it did didn't it I thought it was named literally after the death Ben's actually just throwing light oh out. maybe it did yeah yeah I can't think of yeah, any other ones that I've really been angered. Um, Dragma. Dragma. <laughs> yeah, and to be fair, Dragma. <laughs> Drag- that's actually really good. Um, what was another one? I mean, I actually like Splite being Sprat. That That's fine. It's okay. I like it. Both of them kind of make sense for the um, sort of theme that they're going for. Mm. Um, I did have one, and now I've forgotten it. Um, what was it? Uh, I can't remember. I actually don't like that they changed Flundery to yes. the Wondery. Yes, the Wondery. I, yeah. I, I was literally sitting and thinking about it. Um, no one called it Flundery anyway. No, that's one that has is just stayed. Like we yeah. just, I, everyone just still calls just got it Flunder. Accepted. Uh, OCG two. Uh, while you look that up, we'll answer our next question. Yeah, give it. Uh, what Yu Gi Oh opinion is a hill you're willing to die on? That also comes from. Ooh. I don't know if I didn't say that already. <laughs> Oh wow, man! I probably should have. Th- I thought about this prior, so I'll start with Must mine. Be nice. <laughs> uh, triple tactics should be in every deck. It's a staple. Uh, main deck. Main deck. What about Ooh, yeah, you, Eldritch, mate? You reckon? Mm-hmm. What about an Eldritch? Those decks should fuck off forever. <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah. it should be in only the decks that Jake uh, um, values and appreciates. Correct. Okay, I feel like it's only good in combo. If you can't play tactics, you shouldn't play. Floodgates are a necessary evil. <laughs> no, they're just evil. Floodgates are a necessary evil. That is Seb's. And you know, man, I kind of am with you. A heal I'm willing to die. He plays Flundery. His opinion's invalid. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, oh, also, uh, random thing. Every Destiny hero had a better OCG name. Just for reference. They were all cooler. Like, they were all, like, actually meant to be. Um, but they were all just, like, cool guy and diamond dude. It's like fucking. We get it. Americans want stupid names. Fine. I just stop. Um, this is really interesting. I think there's. Mm. I'm trying to think. I got two in my head. It's almost two. Men. I like. Th- that's I that's my problem. My, my the literally the first one I can think of is 
It's not that much of a... Is, uh, he'll die, not a hot take, right? Because it's not that hot of a take. I I think the re- printing and cost of this game will be the reason that it dies. I think... It's a hot take. I think it, it will be the sole reason. The sole reason. Not the way the game plays, not the balancing of the game, not how the decks function, not the people, not the yeah. events, not the support. The price of these cards will be the reason this game dies. I think the biggest one that I would like if someone said oh what's your biggest opinion I'd be like Yu-Gi-Oh was better before Pendulum and I'm going to die on that <laughs> but is that purely based on Pendulum or you're just saying like no 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 the just point the time pen- zone like, like the time span the, the game was better before Pendulum was introduced when Pendulum was introduced this game became something way it's, different what's really interesting though is that I'm curious as to whether Pendulums and Onwards changed the way that cards were fundamentally designed. Mm, I think so. Or is it... But I, I'm, I'm super curious of like how they actually design mm. what they're going to do in the future, like new card types. But <laughs> if... You think they think about it. No, no, no. But the thing is, is that them not thinking about it, which they don't, is also like design theory. It's like the theory of like, okay, we're just going to... We want a deck to do this thing. Let's yeah. just... Throw out the wall and see what sticks. Until it works. But I think um, the interesting thing is, right, like, I love, which is funny, because, like, I looked back at 2017 recently when we were talking about Link's officially starting. Yes. And we were all shirtless. This is death. Ripping cards, being yeah, like, goodbye. Yes. But, like, I love Link's. I think Link's have been an amazing thing for anyone who's a combo player. Because Die. Being, being a combo player, like, you can just keep going. Yeah. But I think about the time when Link's didn't exist and we were in pendulum, OG pendulum formats. It's that the most place recursion. sucked. Uh, to be fair, pendulums were the like I think one of the biggest breakers of um, resources. Yeah, like resources were just like this thing that you had and that you needed to play for, and that if you want to keep synchroing and xing mm. and like go on this thing, eventually you just run out of shit. Exactly. Not pendulums, pendulums were just like two cards, have it all back. Two cards, have it all back. And the one thing about pendulum that was good was mixing of of different type of archetype subtypes in Pendulum so you'd have you know your Metal Foes with a little bit of Cliff Lord but even then as much as I love the deck building of that in the sense I just still think this game is better before Pendulum existed okay. he's going like oh, that's super interesting cards went from saying yes to saying yes and yeah ah, well, think yeah. of Sacrifice a card with three of three effects fucking for good a Pendulum effects. deck it that's already good. busted um, that's interesting I that's it's yeah does, is it weird to say that I felt like um, Pendulums were the first time the game became, like, super not anime? Like, like the, the core, like, function of Yu-Gi-Oh! as I feel like in the show, Pendulums were, like, the moment I was like, oh, no, you just want to do this. I know. Like, did, that's what you want to do. Did like, you watch the guy in the anime with Pendulums? He's, like, swinging his little pendant. He's doing like, his thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that looked pretty anime the to me. The of summoning <laughs> 8 million times. <laughs> like, fine. Um, that's... I, I, probably would, I probably wouldn't have, like, targeted pendulums down at that point but that's probably a very good point is there a point where you would mark that down I don't even think like even like people want to look at formats like dragon rules and stuff and go oh my god fucking crazy it's like yeah oh. but still you still had resources that when they were gone you lost the game I think that's, like there's a secondary point here like I'd, I'd probably die on is that I think triangle formats are actually probably the one of the best formats you can have a triangle format of like it's needing like, to build around the deck that naturally counters yeah, yours. The naturally rock paper scissors ma- meta yeah. creates the, the better skilled players. It's been so. Shut up! D- no, no, no. That's not. That's He's not, right that's not though. That's He's hundred percent correct. There is a level of skill that comes T-Zero from T zero formats is garbage for everything except the fact that it shows who the better players are. Except for the fact that you can but, get outdrawn oh, in a tier zero. No, 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 no. Because the the better players might not have the bankroll. So, n- no. Typically... You're still putting this, a wall up. This is the issue that, and it's a little bit of a sidetrack, is that Formula 1 has had for <coughs> centuries. You have the team, you have the car, you have the driver. Everyone wants to argue, oh, who's the best driver? None of them are going to drive the same car, none of them are going to have the same team yeah. with the same money. Yeah. There's no way of answering that question effectively. Like, oh, yeah. T-Zero to yeah. an extent. When... Like everyone, Zoo, Zoo if showed you who the best player the was. Same deck to sure, a degree, but they were cheap. and even then, was cheap. it? Oh, cheap. 
comparatively to other teams. Are oh, sure, sure, I sure. Think, I yeah. think comparatively, historically, sure. sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Spiral, well, cheap Spiral was the cheapest two zero deck. I think. But that was mainly because you could pick, most people could pick up Spiral before it became TV. No, I like, even think quickly. I even think like just because you got big reds off title for like three bucks. Okay, it's, mate, it's, it's it's double, double, it was double helix. <laughs> double helix being an ultra, I think, kept that deck. This like, is very no true. Secrets. There was no secrets. Uh, like oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, there um, was. That's something we didn't really touch on with um, the power of the element stuff. With and it's just a brief sidetrack. With them coming out in a lower rarity, only blue being the secret, do you think there's potential of the other cards being the ones that are more likely to get hit? Like, Toad's probably the main contender to be Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, definitely. It's, but, but I still feel like TCG, Konami TCG have this really big habit of being like, bang. And you're like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why'd you shoot that? And then he's like, you're the problem. Bang. And it's like, Hang on. Who yeah, the yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> they just they have this concept of like, okay, OCG have pointed the gun at somebody and they're like, but what if what? you shoot him? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> it's yeah, it's like call an ambulance, but not for me. But it's I feel like that's though. what Nadir was doing in that format. It was just chilling over here. Yeah, yeah. And he just pops a stray ball and it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like you just get caught in the crossfire, bro. You're just okay. Got, like, done in the leg, and he was like, bro, why? But there <laughs> are there why? are people already like testing out punk splite. Yeah. Which probably is the direction that deck goes if it loses Toad. Because you get the Baron and then you still get like your, your rank 2 stuff going off. I th- it's not going to be as good. Yeah. But you can probably go into like I'm, I'm, Baron, I'm, Hauk, Dagda. I'm, I'm really trying Dark. to think of like anything that like is more controversial that I think. Max that like. Ma- yeah, actually, actually, Maxita, Maxita 3 um, is kind of big for me. That is a hill I agree with. <laughs> I, I kind of just... I think it needs to be either or zero. zero. It can't be two or one. It literally Don't ever put be. this card back to no, two. No, no, no. It can't be. Oh, I and we can't do it, it now be because Splite exists. I, yeah, so we can't uh, do Maxi right now. The reason uh, I would argue one? that it can be a one... It is... can't. Splite exists! Well, I mean, that's probably why you can have it at one. No, no, you can bounce is, it. This is the reason that I'm They thinking. search it! Yeah. yeah. Here's the reason. Here's the reason why I think it can be a one. Because... If it's a one, you cross out the opponent's one when they drop it on you, and that's fine. And then you don't it's get not yours. that bullshit no, counter swing it doesn't, of like, it doesn't oh, work. I drop Maxi on you, you special summon three times, and you have to stop. You drop Maxi on me, I negate it, and then you have to choose whether to play into it or stop. But that's that's good. What isn't good is open cross out, or I've opened the one Maxi. It's like, nah, you can't do it. You can't say that it's Imperial Order again. Sure. You can fucking chain MST to the fucking Imperial Order, but when you don't, suck my dick. Like, it doesn't work. It, it can't be one. And then Splite Searcher, because haha. Level two. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, then there's your reason why Maxi's not coming back. Maybe I'm not on this yes, hill. Yes. Maybe I don't agree with you on this uh, hill. No, no. It's, Keep it right zero. now, it doesn't I wanna, work. It I don't want to talk work. about it, this. It doesn't work. Before now, it probably could have worked. Um, but right now, I, I don't think it works. Um. The game probably. Uh, the game probably could be slower. It could be. Like... I think Branded was probably the closest we got to that. Yeah. And even then, Branded was too slow. <laughs> yes, that, that, that probably it is, yes. There's um, probably a hill somewhere you could die with, like, how decks are built oh, and designed. Oh, my God. Uh, Yugi Tubing was fucking way better five years ago. <laughs> oh, that's not wrong. That's not wrong. We, it's true! Well, like, oh, it I was about, funny. Think about back in, like, Insectiform, where you had, like, yeah. Dark Underworld 67, but you had Galactagod. Because nobody was successful, Pe- it was funny. People didn't hate Simply Unlucky, and he wasn't an awful human being back yeah, then. True. Galactagod was, like, the, the wholesome family part of... The wholesome family part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, like, yeah, right. like, it was funny. My child and was kind right of there. fun. Like, it, it was it was cool. MBT didn't exist back then. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I've never. I don't know. MBT is fine. He's just not yeah. particularly great at the game. Yeah, that's fine. He made a terrible ban list. I'll out him. Oh, <laughs> that's like a slaughter list. No one. That's here, like a. That's like a nobody list. here has ever gone and made a bad take on the ban list. I haven't. Never. Shut up. Can't remember why. <laughs> um, I. I'm sure I can like rapid fire heaps more of these. Uh, better support. The better rule. Obviously, better fucking support it. Big events would be sick, but. Oh, that was the thing I, I was going to bring up before the podcast and then I wanted to save. Oh, yes. Um, I was, like, really big on cash prizing. I still am really big on cash, cash prizing. However, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! could really go the Digimon route. 
I think that's a fucking awesome idea. Do you want to explain for the other homies? Oh, um, so and Digimon tend to do uh, event-specific playable promo yeah, cards. Yeah, okay. Like, the LARTs are kind of an example of promotional cards that they could mm. do, but having, like, event-stamped, YCS-stamped cards, like the tokens you used to get for going to a YCS, having YCS-stamped, potentially speaking some playable cards you don't have to do the fucking big money secrets just in archetype cool cards of okay sprite have dominated 60 percent of this ycs let's give them an ultra or two in a stamp thing that you get for topping like it could be really cool and it's not cash so you don't have to have an aneurysm i agree but i think when i think about the tournament structure of you go my care is more about the secondary tier events than the cash prizing Solution. But yeah, but Digimon do that. Like, yeah, the, the secondary like, tier events benefit heaps from having those. Because all we have is like regional. The extravaganzas we've had like last yeah, year yeah. were a good like starting point. But like, ever since like season one LODS, we haven't had a good branch of a like sub genre. But what I'm of like, events. what I'm thinking is, if you can just send a store, here's a stamp play set of Ash, stamp play set of Imperm, stamp play set of like whatever the fuck, twenty, thirty, forty dollar cards with a cool stamp on it because it's unique to the event yeah. people will go but the problem we all know is that they do that and then there's going to be like half the stores that actually uh, run yeah, the event yeah. and half the store that go mm, but promos I'm just going to resell these for value again you can get them guys my thing is is that like same with selling product early that just gets you blacklisted eventually if as long as they're on top of it but Konami, they don't Konami care Konami doesn't Konami they just doesn't care. Care. yeah but like I Flesh think... and Blood is really good at that that bro Flesh and Blood are like we saw a promo on the secondary market. We're just going to start shooting. Yeah. Get them. They're looking at a website em, em. with all the stores that are blacklisted. Yeah. They're like, you can they, have a, they have a ban list for stores. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, Konami has a ban list for people who make YouTube videos. So. Yeah, it's true. Does Bandai run all the events? Yes. Yeah. It's TAC gaming, it's right? Tack yeah. 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 Uh, fuck fuck TAC. Um, oh I just God. go out there. Fuck them. You got a lot of people you want to go out today. Don't yeah, you? I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, excuse I'm, me, popping strays, <laughs> fucking poor MBT. <laughs> yeah, bro, MBT didn't deserve it. I don't watch MBT. Um, but I'm just thinking, like, yeah, like there, there are probably some ways to make events more appealing, um, in any way, shape, or form that I guess doesn't have to involve money. But you can resell promos for money. Look, I won't throw a beef at events until we get a YCS again. Until then, I'm just Sydney YCS, YCS at one point was like one of the biggest YCS in the world, if not top five. Like consistently, give me Melbourne. I don't care at this point. Just I give just, me one. What are you doing? Just bro? give me something. Why is <laughs> with a clock? <laughs> <laughs> with a clock. Only you are for... asking far too much. Only our Australian yeah. viewers will get that. Um, I don't know. This people who this people who play little girl decks should be banned from the game. Yes. At Lachlan Kusick. I will die on that hill with you. At Lachlan Kusick. Let's go. People who play little women decks should be banned from the game. <laughs> okay. Then you play Sky like Striker at the YCS. Yes. And I sold it for that reason. <laughs> Bim! Also, Bim. don't you play Dragon Maid? He does play Dragon Maid. But sometimes they turn into... Big don't you dragon. play Sky Striker? He does. Well, yeah, he yeah, also yeah. played... No, yeah. no, you he also played Trickster. Yeah, that's why I got rid of bro. <laughs> oh, hey, man. That's my one top. One local. Oh. One, lo <laughs> one local. One locals I played Trickster. And I was like, nah. <laughs> nah. Just go off and leave the set. I don't know if I've ever played a wifey deck. I you can't. You've played one. Alistair for 10 years. <laughs> Because that's one card. Yeah, it's not a deck. You played Ecclesia with it, so you did play a woman. Yeah. It's still a card. No. Yeah, but that's one woman. He said little woman. He said woman. little women deck. Yeah, little women deck. Um, How grammar is important. Uh, in extension of that that thing, uh, Hilard Bull Dion is Konami are actively pedo betting. Yeah, I was gonna say stop printing. Stop. Pr <laughs> yeah. I Pokemon is worse. It's not. No. It's not. It's not even close. Until because Konami like, comes out and bans people yeah. who play on like mats of so, Yu-Gi-Oh cards just being so, explicitly sexual for a ten-year-old game, they have. Un <laughs> they haven't though. People come in all the time and they yeah, just go. They didn't see it at a store no. level, yes, but at a tournament. Jones, they get on the spot. That's kind of that, can't that's wait for Jesse to get banned. Even for an Ash B player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that is, that is so much bait. Yes, Ben. So in Yu-Gi-Oh, they at least print these cards and go, but this person is a vampire. 5,000 years, years old. No! Like it's Pokemon, justifying bro, it, bro! In Pokemon, they go, School is girl. this 8-year-old? <laughs> Wanna see a cleavage? 
<laughs> Listen, I don't want justification <laughs> for being Wait, into little girls. Yeah, there's a difference between attempting to justify it and literally just being, here's this naked eight year old. Then <laughs> Pokemon, Stegos die on the Pokemon is very not serious. good. This is not it's good not, to hear but from in the last, like, not. In the last, like, ten you years. Know expensive Marnie full arts are? I don't want to know. Disgusting. Yeah, but I don't think there's any money for us that are like at all okay. kind of like that. Look, I don't think there's any. KCG yeah. may be bad, but Ben, yeah. VGC? What? He's making a pointless reference. VGC. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I love inside jokes that only one person on the podcast is getting. Thank you. Uh, there's, got to, there's got to be others, but. Oh, yes. I'm sure there's, there's going to be an all day. Blue card bad. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Which now. blue card? Yeah, that's that. that all Be of them. more specific. All of them. Um, Necroz was uh, Yu Gi Oh's biggest mistake. <laughs> I don't know. In a way, yes, because I that short think, print of yes, bloody Briones yes, was atrocious. Brio is Brio is literally like their absolutely most horrendous dickhead short print I've ever seen in my life. Brios are still forty bucks. Yeah. OG Brios are still like forty like, bucks. The fact that you can buy a case and be like, I got one. <laughs> like if you're lucky if you're lucky no no it's not a star like get in the bin alright well Should before we good for the game because they keep the paws out <laughs> <laughs> they don't though they keep the paws at a subpar level and then you deal with them at a subpar level and you go I want to cry hear that brokies uh, get the, out of my game <laughs> the tier system that Konami actually care about is the economic <laughs> one the economic <laughs> tier <laughs> Uh, get, on, get on the tier right, list website and just start making economic <laughs> People who play Max Rody Doctors, Dragon. lawyers, <laughs> bankers! <laughs> get in the bin! That, I'd be before, at the lowest of low. No, no, stop, before we find any more hills, that is yeah, it. Yeah. We are done for tonight. Thank you very much for listening and watching. As I said, we do have a Discord link will be in the description. Please join in, say hi, and we'll see you guys next week. Starlight 2K. Bye.